Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is really exciting because I partnered with Jane Cotter Solution and I am going to review and demo their new healthy hairline. <laughs> I would like to say that a special thank you to them as I reached out to their team and they were so uh, amazing and supportive in wanting to work with me. I really thank them for sending me their healthy hairline. I saw it at Ricky's and I was like, ooh, what's that? And I've been using Jay Carter forever. I've been using their original line for the longest time with the sunflower. I tried to like recreate the sunflower thing with my earrings. They're not, they're not quite sunflowers, but you know. The gist. I'll go through each and every product, how I put it on, I have some demos for a couple of them, and we'll talk about what they do and how they perform. For the cleansing portion, we have their Renewable Difference Detox Shampoo and their Cleansing and Conditioning Co-Wash. I was very excited about this product in particular because I'm into co-washes now. I know that it, I could just condition and detangle, but sometimes I feel I need a little more cleaning and not just conditioning if I used a product with silicone or I just felt like I needed to take the product off completely to start with the clean slate. This though, if you are like a monthly hardcore shampoo cleansing person, then this is their renewable shampoo that does has, it has suds, but the suds are not uh, the Sorolor Sulfate, like the hardcore aggressive suds. They're from fruit extracts, I believe. And I will list all ingredients down below for each product so you can see what is in each product and kind of figure out what you want to use, not want to use. I love this shampoo. Even though it's suds, I was still able to comb through my hair. And the texture is on the goopy side. So it stretches out, if you will, when you when you start to squeeze it. And it has like that gooey type of, of formula of texture. And even though it's suds, again, it's not going to tangle your hair. It's going to wash any product buildup you have in there and keep your hair clean without making it feel dry. For the co-wash, I love that it's in a jar, but it's in a flip top. I find this very convenient as I use a ton of co-wash at one time. So instead of having to squeeze, pumping's easier, but I feel like I just scoop that out and slather it in there. I use this today and my hair after a week of poofing, handling, sleeping on it. I mean, it was gnarly in there. I slapped this on, I finger combed through first, I washed my body, and then I went in with my paddle brush, my Denman, and it, it detangled like a dream. So I like to leave this in for a little while just so it could do its thing, and when I go in with my paddle brush, it's so easy. In terms of the smell, the whole line in terms of fragrance, it is on the perfumey side. And I would say flowery and sweet. A, a lot more flowery, I feel, than their original line with the yellow label. If you're into that, great. If you're not into that, I will smell it first in store if there's like a tester of some sort, just so you can make sure it's not gonna drive you nuts. I like the scent. I'm washing it out so it doesn't bother me too much. But in general, I prefer flowery sweet over super, super sweet anyway. Uh, coconut's nice, but I just like, I like the flower thing. The shampoo doesn't, actually little to no scent. It's very neutral and it's not gonna leave your hair super fragrant. If anything, this doesn't leave it super fragrant, but if you want some a nice scent to be left, this will definitely do it over the shampoo. For conditioner from their Healthy Hairline, we have their Revive and Repair Hair Mask. This, you guys, mm, this is also on the perfumey side. Again, take a whiff if you like. It is so creamy and it just detangles like a dream. I love this formula. 
I love conditioners in jars. I feel it makes it easier just to like scoop out and slap on and then you're good. I also love it, a part of this line, they have their complex for replenish and repair oil. And it instructs you to actually put this on before the hair mask. So I put in a couple of drops of the oil first in each section and then I followed with the hair mask. Let me tell you, it is, this oil is a nice, prep for any hair mask you put on as it smooths out any tangles and it just kind of prepares the hair for that mask. So when you go in for your fingers and I use, you'll see a Denman paddle brush, it's just a dream to put on and very easy to detangle. The hair mask has such great slip. You can put it on 5 to 20, 5 to 20 minutes with or without heat, whatever is available. I didn't do it with heat, because again, I'm a lazy naturalista. I left it on around 20 minutes, washed it off, and my hair, it didn't feel greasy, it just felt healthy, revitalized, and replenished. It has movement, it doesn't feel heavy, and I applied the oil before this, and I did not shampoo out, I just rinsed it with warm water, not super hot, did it feel greasy, heavy, oily? It is really fantastic. The formula is so creamy and it detangles in an instant and just leaves your hair so soft, shiny, and just, I can't think of all the words. The formula is light, airy, fluffy. So again, just lovely to comb through your hair. and. Whether you use your fingers, a wide tooth comb, or a paddle brush, it will all work with that hair mask. So I'm sure this really worked with my hair and got into it at like a molecular level, I guess, in terms of repair. This smell is very, it's sweet, it's not overly sweet. You have to sniff really hard to get any type of like fragrance detection but a lot sweeter than the rest of the products. I really love, I really love the, the system that I could put this on under my hair mask and really get a nice deep conditioning. I just let it kind of sit without any heat and I found that even with that, my hair was super moisturized and soft and the frizziness was cut down, I think also from the hair mask. And again, I will post all ingredients, but just to go over a couple, there's coconut oil in here, shea butter, phospholipids, glycolipids, all the lipids in here, yes. So you're in good hands with a hair mask. For styling, they only have their styling smoother, their frizz-free styling smoother, and their slumber party creamy living conditioner. In terms of lines, this is more about replenishing, repair, moisturizing, conditioning. I think less about actual styling. They do have styling products from their original line, I believe. Their Curl Defining Cream and another styling product. This is their Frizz Free Styling Smoother. And funny story, I had recorded this uh, using a gel because I didn't have a styling product from Jane Carter to use for this so I just used another gel but I was like I want to do this again because I want to keep it pure Jane Carter so I had a little curl defining cream and I was like alright I'll put this on because this is a style prep it's supposed to smooth through supposed to detangle cut down the frizz and help whatever styling product you apply after Great, I'll apply this first, I'll apply the curl defining cream, keep it Jane Carter all the way, and we'll see how, what happens. I could not find the curl defining cream. I'm looking around, after I got out of the shower, after I used the co-wash, like a wet mop. I'm like, where did I put it? I sabotaged myself. Straight up sabotaged. So what you see here is ju me just applying this. That's it. And this is formulated to work with another product. It even says, apply frizz free styling smoother to wet hair for reducing frizz and heat protection while blow drying. So a blowout, this is also for you. Apply to wet 
curly coily hair as a base hydrator and frizz reducer before applying your styling products. So I'm like, all right, fine. I didn't have it. I didn't have it and my hair was getting dry. I spritzed a ton of the revitalizing just to get it wet again because my hair gets dry so fast. And when I am applying cream whatevers, it needs to be super wet or else it does not do a great job. And I'm telling you, I did like renegade wash and go because I was running out of time, hair was dry. I'm like, I just gotta put this on. I just gotta get it on and call it a day. I even sectioned. I was like this, it was this side and this side. I was like brrr, brrr, brrr. and that was it. And I diffused dry so you guys can have a better picture of how it looks completely dried in terms of shape. And I, I have to say, this isn't bad for a, just using a style prep. And it's super light. It doesn't feel heavy, but my hair feels healthy and moisturized and it's shiny. I feel like if you were to compare this to makeup, hear me out, that the Style Smoother is like a tinted moisturizer. It's gonna cover up any like blemishes, whatever you're going on, but it's still going to showcase your skin. As opposed to using a heavy duty foundation that's just gonna cover it up. So this is like my hair super enhanced. And I really love it. I love how it's big and froey, but still has some corkscrew action going on. You're gonna have like your renegade coils going on, but what are you gonna do? That's, that's hair for you. And from the side, it's just really big, really fluffy. I love it. And great product to have if you're just having one of those days, maybe you went to the beach, maybe you went to the pool, whatever, your hair got wet, you have to wash it and you just have to slap something on that's going to provide moisture, shine, and some definition. That's it. You're good. The scent for this, I found, was my favorite out of all the products because the other products were on the perfumey side. This though was a little sweeter, so I felt, I feel people will like this more because it's not as fragrancy, I believe. And I just love sweet smelling things like gardenia types of scents. It's just, oh, this is the best. I love this product. Slumber Party. This is a very interesting product. I was wondering why it was called Slumber Party. Slumber Party is their leave-in conditioner and it's called Slumber Party because it's like an overnight conditioner. Spray in Slumber Party in the PM or AM to restore moisture and protect your hair from dryness. Even though it's in a spray bottle, it streams out. So I don't know if you're able to see that. It, and it just has like this milky type of consistency. Oh, excuse me. Type of consistency. I like to bring it in my hand, smush and judge. And I keep it on the ends because it is, again, fragrancy. If you're not into that, I will put this on during the day because at night, I sleep on a satin pillowcase so my hair surrounds my face and it could get a little overwhelming because it's a beautiful scent but a lot for me to be surrounded by it when I'm sleeping. If I were to put my hair up, I think it would be okay but it's a, it's a beautiful scent. I would smell it first just to make sure it's not going to drive you nuts like I said prior with the co-wash and the hair mask. But the formula is really beautiful. It's super moisturizing and it's light, like all Jane Carter Solution products I feel are. You could put it in your hand or you could just spray it straight into your hair and kind of work it in that way. But I would keep it inside, I feel, and not bring it here because I feel that's when it will get really in here and just... Maybe, maybe too much, maybe too much slumber party. I would keep it maybe in here if you don't want to smell it so much and less here. If you want to add shine, I would just use your nourishing shine. But it's a beautiful formula, it's super light. Even with the fragrance, I think it's worth checking out and trying at least if you could get a sample somewhere or not. 
you know, there are several products in here I think you can benefit from. I will, I, my favorite product is for sure the styling smoother out of all of them. I really love the formula. I love the scent and what it does. And I'm glad I made that mistake and wasn't able to find the curl defining cream because I saw how the styling smoother works on its own without an additional product. So helpful to know if I don't have anything else except that, that my hair is going to turn out beautiful and I don't have to worry about is it going to frizz, was it dry? No. Good to go. Styling Smoother has this on lockdown. If there are any questions that you have, please let me know down below and any feedback. I would love to hear if you guys use any of their products from Healthy Hair. And just to emphasize why I love this brand and why I reached out to them in the first place. I believe when I saw Jane Carter for the first time, it was really about healthy hair and no matter what your texture is, if it's kinky, if it's curly, if it's coily, if it's corkscrewy, if it's tight, if it's loose, it's wavy, healthy hair is good hair. That's it. And it took me a while to understand that, especially someone that has relaxed their hair for so long and associated straight hair with healthy hair, good hair, hair that you could detangle easily, that could fly, that could move with the wind. So when I saw Jane Carter, I was like, yeah, I don't have to have straight hair for it to be healthy. It's, it was really, it's an empowering brand, I feel. And their ingredients I love, and I've been using them from the beginning, way when I did the Big Chop, and when they first came out, I saw them on the shelf and I swiped it. I mean, I paid for it. <laughs> I didn't just take it, I'm sorry. No swiping in this house. I mean, look at this curl definition. Look at these spirals, just from a curl prep cream. Not bad. And without further ado, here comes the individual product spotlights. Any feedback about Jane Carter, whether it be from Healthy Hair or their original line or their Amber Bottle line, leave feedback down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.